Hey y'all, it's Brandy, and today I am bringing you Christmas Eve wishes. Yay! So today is going to be a chat on my channel. I do deck reviews for you to look at decks and walkthroughs. I sometimes pull cards for people. I sometimes have big giveaways and sometimes we just have chats where we try to learn something and today I was inspired to talk to you about I have um, in front of me a whole clipboard of inspiration to talk to you about Christmas and why everyone needs Christmas Christmas energy Christmas spirit and I know immediately out of the gate I have people on my channel that are going to say, I'm not Christian, why do I need that? So I am going to talk to you today about that and I'd like you to take this journey with me. I'd like you to invite you into my dance of words today to talk to you about what it means and why I'm saying this and how you can carry it not just today but through the whole winter season and why that's important. So first off, what does Christmas mean? Most people think of it as a Christian holiday or a secular period of time to buy gifts, but really what it is, if we set history aside, if we set cynicism aside and we dive into it in a different form, Christmas is an example of all of the holidays that happen in December and January, really, because it's about love, it's about birth. It's about celebration and huge changes, you know, the kind of changes that are monumental every single year that happen that we kind of take for granted, but we kind of like. So what do I mean by that? Well, for example, one of the things about Christmas is it's about a baby and most people like babies. They don't necessarily have to want to have their own, but babies make us laugh. They're goofy, they're kind of squishy, they're disgusting, but it's like, okay. But really, I mean, what do babies do? They're kind of full of crap all the time, and they're noisy, and you have to be careful with them because they're the epitome of fragility when it comes to the human condition. But at the same time, we like babies. We like baby animals. We like little tiny things. And that's what Christmas is about, right? It's about happiness that shines through a lot of crap, <laughs> you know? So let's talk about what's going on right now. And if you stick with me in this journey, in this video, hopefully by the end of it, you'll be very inspired right where you are. Because right now, we're in this crazy, ridiculous energy. And a lot of it is terrible. A lot of it is depressing and hard. And there's health things which makes people cranky and it makes people worry. And we've got political nonsense here in the States and otherwise. Like, it's not just the United States that has political whatnot happening. It's just a whole bunch of nonsense. We got whatnot and nonsense happening over here. So how do we change that into recognizing the spirit and and like a lot of people right now are not feeling Chris Christmassy but here's the thing it's about perception so walk with me we just spent a huge amount of time with massive astrological planets astrological situations and astronomy in Capricorn which it's been for a couple hundred years and that is earth elemental energy it's stable it's strong it's about buildings making structures keeping things structured and stable and now we have just switched those energies into air energy aquarius a time about words about music about communication um and honestly we've gone from being super earth-based, stable, grounded, to a completely different area, and it's time for the magic to return. That change, that transformation, 
is really hard when all you've ever known is being grounded. It's kind of like when a Christian person has always been taught that their God is the only one. This is a hypothetical. And then they go out into the world and they learn about Hinduism and Buddhism and um, Native American tribes and they learn about gods from the ancients and they go, how does this all connect? Yeah, they're gonna feel discombobulated for a while, but it all comes back and they have the ability to establish and validate their own God if they want or not. We are at the point now where we can establish our wishes, where we can step into the Christmas spirit, which is all about what we wish for other people, which is what Aquarius says to us. Aquarius says, now is the time for humanitarian efforts. Now is the time to help others. And what a perfect, perfect season for it. Hear me out. What happens during the Christmas season, as opposed to other holidays during this time period? Most holidays during this time period are about getting through winter and rekindling passion, finding the fire, finding the light, making your way through to get through until spring. Christmas is special because during Christmas we wish, we wish people to be happy. We wish them merriness. We wish them good tidings. We literally give abundance, even when we have almost nothing. Christmas stories are about people who have almost nothing, giving everything they can. The gift of the Magi is about completely thinking of another person. It's a little sad, but... And we go from a period, at least in the States, and I think maybe in Canada, I can't speak to other countries, but we go from a period of thanksgiving, being thankful, leave the history aside for, for the time being. Even though it's important for this message, it's not. We go from a period of thanksgiving to a period uh, of gratitude into a period of giving and, and wishing abundance and wishing happiness during one of the hardest times of the year. Winter is hard for people, it's cold. And at the same time that it's cold outside and our bodies are cold, our hearts extend and are warm, even with all of the nonsense and the whatnot. So modern sensibilities with Christmas are difficult because they can speak to lack. They can speak to not having enough. They can speak to children seeing Santa Claus giving, you know, iPads and phones and saying, I got a Barbie, what's that about? But where that comes from is being out of touch with the actual spirit of the holiday. And again, I'm leaving history out of it because there's a lot to it and our version of Christmas is very askew. For example, historically speaking, Christmas is 40 days. It is a season. It is not one day, and it doesn't start until December 25th, and it goes well into February, heading right towards Lent. But we don't celebrate it that way anymore. Okay, we've kind of, secular situations kind of have made Advent about material situations, whereas before, Advent was not about gifts. It was not about opening things for 24, 25, 26 days. It had a different meaning. Most people don't even know what Gaidete Sunday is, and that's part of the history of Christmas, as well as Candlemas. Most people that I know, and this is just people that I know, don't even know the 12 days of Christmas is after Christmas. <laughs> this is all history that I'm leaving to the side. Because what are we talking about? We're talking about the spirit of Christmas, which is about change. And we are on the verge of a massive change. And I want to invite you this Christmas Eve to step into the spirit of what it means at Christmas. And what does it mean? It means to be young. What do I mean by that? Okay, so there's this song that came up. And this is what actually inspired this whole video. It's a ridiculous kind of anthem type song that went with a movie from the 80s and it's called um, Tonight 
is what it means to be young. That's literally the name of the song. It came from a movie. Um, I can't remember the name of the movie right now. Um, I can't. Rem I actually can't remember. I didn't write it down. Do I have my phone? I have my phone. Um, it's hilarious. Hold on. Okay, it's from Streets of Fire. And and look at this. Can you see this silliness? Look at this video. Look at how 80s that is. There you go. There it is. So, I was listening to this song. And dancing around as one does. And the words struck me. Because here's some of the words. Music is poetry. That's all it is. Songs are poetry to instrumental music. So I like to listen to the lyrics even in ridiculous songs. And some of the words, it's all we've really got is tonight. Before you know it, it's gone. How true is that? Right now, you have right now. And right now for you might feel terrible and upset. You might be thinking of the people that you're missing, the things that are different. What if it was the perfect time to believe in something great? What if it was the perfect time to make wishes like children do? Here's some more of the lyrics. It says, no matter what it seems, tonight is what it means to be young. It's about how you perceive it, right? And how we perceive things is kind of difficult because how we perceive things is not actuality and that can be difficult to swallow. Follow me on this separate journey. We're gonna tangent for a second. I'm gonna show you two cups. This one, can you see me? And this one. And I am going to tell you that how you perceive this cup as being empty and this cup as being almost full is wrong and I am going to tell you that it is wrong I am okay with that do you want to know why because science says all cups are always full this is full of air All right, so that's a little tricky, but it's an example of how our perceptions are, are wrong. Humans have like the worst senses out of all animals. Our eyes lie to us all the time. We see things like upside down and backwards and our brain has to switch it for us. Our sense of smell is our strongest sense and we don't even use it that much anymore. What I would, would empower you and invite you to think about is that instead of it being a season of pain, a season of lack, a season of Christian gods overtaking other gods or whatever other history you want to fall into, instead of that, I invite you to remember what it is to be young. and. Here's some more, I'm gonna use lyrics from this song because I found it remarkable that this really silly kind of s song had all these great lyrics. It said, let the rebels begin, let the fires get started. We dance for the desperate and the brokenhearted. That doesn't sound quite as happy as I want it to be, but let me, let me tell you, follow me, follow me. Let the rebels begin. It's Christmas Eve. Be happy about anything. This could be any day. It's just a day. But every single day you have the option to find something that brings light and brightness to your world. If you are finding things that are negative, always remember that there is a positive for every negative you find, even if it's hard for you to find. Science has proven that our brains find the negative very easily. We do that very easily. It's part of, of making sure we stay safe but we have the same capacity to find the positive. If you are not seeing beauty, if you are seeing ugliness, look for the beauty. Look for it. 
go look for a video of a bat peeing because it's absolutely hilarious. Or, you know, baby animals. For every craptastic human out there, there is a baby animal out there that needs your attention. And then it says that the fires get started. I invite you to think about that for a minute. Fire is passion. It's strength. It's playing. It's warm. It makes you feel good. Fire brings scent. It starts from nothing and we create it. It's used for remembrance. It's a connection and it's magic. And it's one of the first things that humans ever figured out. Right? What else do we use? We use pine trees during Christmas. Those are evergreen. They're forever green. They're literally symbols of youth. Then, I want to invite you to dance. The words are, we dance for the desperate, we dance for the restless and the brokenhearted. Doesn't that sound like this season? We're all desperate to get out of COVID. Many of us are brokenhearted over so many things this season. As we move into this age of Aquarius and have this ridiculous song, but it's music, it's powerful, it's, it's a return to happiness if, if you like that kind of ridiculous music. But I want to invite you to dance. I want to invite you to find music that makes you want to move and dance. Here's, here's a thing, okay? Uranus is with Taurus right now, which means that words need to become action. Uranus says, now is the time for action, and I want to invite you to dance. Skip around your kitchen. Stop this video and jump up and down twice. It doesn't have to be big jumps. Play air guitar. Be silly. Put music on that, it doesn't have to be Christmas music. Just put something on that makes you feel great. Chair dance. Know what I'm saying? Everybody can do this. Shake your head around. Watch this video of um, Streets of Fire. At the end of it, she just throws her arms out and she whips her head around in like a classic 80s style. Or like Breakfast Club, do the Molly Ringwald dance, or even Ali Sheedy. Like she's very introverted and quiet in that. Like look those up. Find a way, okay? Stretch out your arms as wide as your wingspan can take you. Your angels will welcome in this moment. It opens your whole heart chakra. And you don't, it doesn't have to be weird. You can just be stretching. Nobody has to know that you're actually dancing, that you're offering it up for all of those who are brokenhearted, offering up your pain. Let it go. Claim the energy of this season that reminds us that children believe in magic. The stupid elf on the shelf, I hate elf on the shelf. Like it's all parent versus child, right? Like the parent starts out, I'm not getting an elf, I'm not doing that, I refuse. The child is desperate for magic in the house. So the parent gets the elf on the shelf, but then, oh my God, now you have to move the elf on the shelf. But it's not just moving. The elf on the shelf has to be, has to have a name. So you have to name the magic. And then you have to take action and move the, the elf on a regular basis because if you don't, the children's magic is just going to be crumbled. Children remind us of how to be magical. And what happened with Elf on the Shelf is all of those parents got really creative and silly and had fun and ridiculous things. Our elf on the shelf the other day got drunk on Martinelli's on the table with two giant bottles. Because you can be ridiculous and it's okay. And once we are not afraid of the exile of being ridiculous, once we are not afraid of who's gonna see me dancing, once we are not afraid of believing in magic and spirit, we heal. And I want to invite you to remember that
tonight is what it means to be young. Here's some more lyrics that I think are so poignant, and I'm almost done, so thank you for sticking with me if you have. They say, say a prayer in the darkness for the magic to come. Now, I know a lot of people have a problem with the word prayer, but I invite you that thoughts and prayers are sometimes a thing that people, it's all they can do, especially during COVID. And I invite you that prayers are wishes and wishes become manifestations and manifestations change the world. They change the world. Believe. Another lyric is nothing is gonna stop us if our aim is true. And I invite you to believe in healing, believe in prosperity, believe in abundance, claim it in and recognize what you have. The universe is telling you now is the perfect time. You had Jupiter and Saturn aligned to be the Christmas star that we haven't seen in 800 years. And we have Mars and Pluto are squaring right now. Okay, I'm not an astrologer, but I did some research. They are squaring, which means there's a conflict. There's part of you that hears this message that is like, nope, not gonna do it. Here's all the problems. And I invite you to let that go, to step into the bigger aspects of Jupiter and Saturn. Jupiter, nothing is gonna stop us. All the gifts coming forward for the next year until December of 2021, gifts coming in ways that you cannot even imagine because it's an Aquarius. Aquarius thinks out of the box. Saturn is all about judgment, so make sure your aim is true because Saturn can tell the difference. And Uranus taking aim. What happens when you pull that bow back? When you believe that you can hit it? If you pull it back hard enough, it lets go on its own. Tonight is that night. So I wanted to wish you, I wanted to wish you magic and happiness and abundance and ask you to step into believing on this Christmas Eve night of 2020, the year of chaos. And bring that spirit to you because everyone needs the spirit that comes with Christmas. And Christmas is the label that we have for it now, but it's always been around. This holiday has always been a situation of spirit. We just have altered it slightly for what we need. Thank you for spending time with me. I hope that you can find your inner child and I invite you to dance. Dance like nobody's watching. Try and arrange that. That always makes it easier so you don't have to pretend. Lock the door, get in the shower. Dance. <laughs>